Thank goodness Ramadan is over. You know, they keep telling you happy Ramadan. Oh my gosh, miserable Ramadan. And of course, in many countries where the Islamists have power, we know that they are arresting people, harassing people. In Algeria, one young man has been given a one-year sentence for speaking in public during Ramadan. And of course, in the Palestinian territories in Ramallah, we had news of 31 people being arrested from a cafe uh, and they were subsequently released. And there are lots and lots of this type of news throughout this month. And in the month of Ram Ramazan is a time where the Islamic punishment come to the forefront of society and is imposed by force on everybody in, in society. You'll see that from Saudi Arabia, uh, Kuwait and the Gulf Arabic state, Islamic ridden sort of Gulf states. Uh, the punishment is between a month, uh, a month to, uh, to three months mm -hmm. and lashing in, uh, publicly uh, in Iraq is a week in um, Somalia. Um, it's uh, the it's the punishment is hanging by death apparently in Pakistan you'll For see that eating in public absolutely I mean it's just just horrible but we see that the amount of uh, resources and force and police that mm -hmm. is dedicated to controlling people on the streets you'll see that for example in Iran just before the month of Ramadan the whole you know every state every city uh, the Islamic police is organizing uh, the resources, the publicity, threatening people, threatening people to no avail, and you'll see loads and loads and hundreds and thousands of young people just ignore this and are resisting, yeah. and it is a battle going on on yeah, the streets of various Islamic religious mm -hmm. societies, and it's important to highlight this. Yeah, there's no De point. I'm really sorry, Maria, but there's no point for the politicians in the West trying to sort of be looking all nice and talk about the good aspect of Ramadan. Have and, Jeremy and peace. Corbyn handing out food. food. I mean, just like they, you, you never see the uh, uh, politicians uh, highlighting the uh, the problems that people face in the Islamic religious societies. Yeah, and the, that resistance is great. You know, fire was mentioned in Iran. You've got all these people defying fasting rules. It is a form of resistance, just not abiding by the rules because they're so restrictive and so totalitarian in some cases, like the death penalty in Somalia, that fastifying in and of itself is an important form of challenging those rules. We know also in Tunisia and Morocco, we see all these types of you know fastifying picnics in Britain. Uh, and it's important to carry that on. Next year, every year during Ramadan, we should be increasing that and, and putting more pressure highlighting and the cases. highlighting yeah. not only the states do yeah. that but also organized islamic uh, groups in india for example a group of students who've had uh, you know the public they put a photo of themselves uh, um, eating and being threatened with death i mean this is outrageous and we need to highlight the reality of life of living under islamic rule and punishment in months of ramadan globally and there is a huge challenge and struggle going on mm. and we need to highlight yeah. it. And the other final thing is of course that whether it's people forcing people to fast or people or states forcing people not to fast like uh, in China you've got Muslims being sent to re-education camps, forced to eat pork, forced to eat drink, forced to eat during Ramadan. No government, no movement, no uh, body, political or otherwise, family, anyone should be allowed to force people to eat or drink or not to eat or drink if they don't want to. Fast if you want, don't fast if you don't want. That's only your business and nobody else's.